And for those who enjoy this channel and would love to support us financially, please feel free to hit that donate link. We'd greatly appreciate it. God bless. Why? Explain to me why Okay. all of the fossils, you agree that there are geological strata, yes? I agree that there are many layers of rock on the earth. I do not agree they are different ages. I have, okay. I have right here, I have an art museum, pictures of petrified trees standing up, connecting all these layers. Now, you, you agree that you are petrified call them whatever you want. Call, I'm asking you a question. Call okay. them whatever you want. In these layers, there are fossils, yes? I agree. And they are organized in a pretty particular way, yes? The fossils are not always in that particular way. If there's any- They are essentially the always in that particular order. <clears throat> then you have been lied to and you swallowed a lie. No, no, I haven't. Order. No, I haven't. Let me Can you find for me a hominoid fossil in a very low layer next to a trilobite fossil? Can you find that? <clears throat> That's very interesting. We have a section in our museum working on right now about trilobites living with humans all along. There might even be some. Yeah, that sounds lot. fascinating, though it's not Dave, based in Dave, reality. Dave, Dave, now, if you keep not, derailing me, so I never got to answer it to ask you my question. My question for you is that uh, you believe that these layers were deposited during some kind of flood as waters were draining or something like that, right? I agree. Yeah, the layers were deposited in a flood. Okay, so then what I want to know is number uh, one. Most of them, nearly all of them. There's still layers today being deposited, but I'd say 95% oh. of what we see was deposited Fine. during Noah's flood, yeah. Number one, why do the layers have zero correlation with density? Why does the density not increase as you go down? And number two, okay. why uh -huh. are these fossils in those specific layers, in that specific order, everywhere around the world? Okay, they are not in that order, but let's take one question at a time. I have in front of me a sand art toy that has four different densities of sand, black, dark blue, light blue, and white. Four different densities, but every time you flip it over, it makes 30 or 40 different layers. Why are any of those density? limestone or sandstone or granite, are those in there? Uh, Dave, I'm not sure what you know about physics or hydrologic sorting, but water automatically sorts things, especially during the tide, the tidal change during the flood in the days of Noah. The earth is turning around, you know, in spite of the flat earthers, and the earth, the tide goes up and down. And so if the earth were turning for a year while the tide's going up and down with no interruptions, it would make thousands of layers and the density would be completely confused. Generally, what clams are found at the confused? bottom. What do you mean completely confused? What does that mean? Well, some, during one tide, you would get more dense and light dense. And then six hours later, you get another tide coming in, bringing another layer on top of all that. So you may get more dense and less dense. Just Google uh, stratigraphy, experiments in stratigraphy, uh, stratigraphic, stratigraphic experiments at uh, Colorado, at the Navy uh, so, so you're there. saying you're saying that tides exist everywhere on Earth in every location on Earth at the same time. Is that basically what you're saying? Well, during the flood in the days of Noah, the Earth was covered and the tides would cover the world. Now, some parts of the world have a high tide while other parts have a low tide. You see, so how can you get the same strata everywhere on Earth? Tides occur at, at, at on a coast. If the earth were covered with water during Noah's flood, tides would occur everywhere, Dave. What do you mean they would occur everywhere? Tides occur on a coast. Tides come in and out. If the world is covered by water, where is a tide? How does, how does okay, a tide... Okay, let me, let me explain, Dave. Here is the Pacific Ocean. They have a high tide and a low tide in the middle of the Pacific. You don't see it because you're in a ship floating up and down, but the Pacific Ocean actually comes up and down during the tide. What do you mean tide occurs at the coast? Have you ever studied anything about earth science? Tides I know about over. lunar tides. You're talking about the depositing of sediments in a particular way. Yeah, right. See, the world is turning. At this latitude, 31.3366 degrees north latitude in Lenox, Alabama, we're turning 886 miles an hour toward the east. If the tide were going up and down during Noah's flood, the water would have to rush sideways at really high speeds to fill that bump and then rush down the other way at high speeds to lessen the bump. You need really bump. high speeds. How, what does that have anything? What, how is it any different than tides today? Okay, it's not. It's not. But the tides today get interrupted by banging into the continents. Earth turns toward the east, so the tides generally hit the west, the east, uh, eastern coast a little more because the tide is being drawn out by the moon. The lunar You're gravity. trying to ascribe some kind of magical quality to tides that doesn't exist. We see what tides do magical. today, and we no, see no, what okay. they do. It's very simple. Here, look at this. I just flipped this thing over. 
these four different densities of sand made, whoa, probably 20 different layers. And again, are any of those things sandstone or limestone or granite or anything that would be applicable to this discussion well, I whatsoever? Think, I think it's pretty obvious, even from the name, you might even get this, sandstone is made from sand, okay? We have, sand is moved very easily when tides move back and forth, water and going how, back and forth. But it's not the same material. How does it possibly come packed no, no, it, into it would have to harden, one of the flood? It would have to harden over the next few hundred years after the flood. After Noah's flood, the layers would harden, and some of it's a chemical reaction. There are different types of, of sedimentary rock. And some how does this is, process occur magically at every location on Earth at the same time, such that the strata are the same everywhere on Earth? Well, first, the, if you think the strata are the same every place on Earth, you have really been lied to in your education. Nope. You're the one that doesn't have Definitely an education. Not. The strata are Definitely all different not. areas. And all over the world, petrified trees are found standing up connecting these strata. So how That's can not you a problem. Your different ages? Some are in what volcanic that? ash. Some could be due to a local flood. That is not evidence oh, against anything. I agree. I got it. You need to watch my video number six. I don't need to watch flood. any of your videos, Kent. You didn't? I'm no, sorry. I didn't. I didn't hear you. Did you? I didn't, and I don't need to. Oh, I know you didn't. It's obvious, but you need to. It would help you a lot. Okay. No, I you don't. really do need to. Okay. Tell you what. I'll watch some of yours, and I'll put you on my list to whack an atheist. Are you an atheist or just an agnostic, or what are you? I don't really feel like telling you because it's not really a uh, part of this discussion. Uh, it has okay. nothing to do with God whatsoever, unless we want to actually talk about the Bible like I wanted to do earlier. Can we? No, no. That wasn't the title of the debate. The debate was the evidence for evolution. You're claiming there is evidence no, for evolution. No, the title of the debate is evolution versus creation, and the, and the Bible is your evidence for creation. Well, no, I, even without the Bible, I could say it's obvious there's a creator. I think somebody created this coffee cup. It had nothing to do with the Bible. This has a creator. Yeah, another man-made object that has nothing to do with anything. Your argument is that a designed thing exists, therefore everything is designed. Well, I okay. can tell you that something like a snowflake forms spontaneously, so everything forms spontaneously. Neither of those conclusions follow from the premise they're both bad arguments. You should stop saying it, even though it's one of your favorite ridiculous things to say. Well, it's not ridiculous. It's true. And you're it's not getting it, ridiculous. obviously. So I need to say it over and over again. I'll tell you what, most of the audience is getting it, even though you are not. It is true. Do you believe the first living cell, the first living creature on the planet, came from something that was non-living? Because I used a coffee cup, which is non-living. Do you believe the first living cell came from something non-living? Kind of a gray area, but at some point you'd probably have to you'd have to demarcate that. Yes. Okay. So how did this non-living whatever it was soup collection of chemicals you can have whatever you want? How did? Oh, it you're not you're not saying rock anymore. Well, that's what the textbook shows that the rock. Oh no, 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 it doesn't. But that's what you well, always do say. But but it's interesting that you're not saying it right now because okay, you know I'll, that. I'll, I know that I'm gonna try to get you to admit it, Dave. Now listen. Do you believe mm -hmm. the Earth began as a hot ball of rock 4.625 billion years ago, or whatever number they're using now? Yeah. Okay. Did it get? Did the rocks cool down, and then it rained on the rocks and produced uh, chemical ocean soup, con uh, oceans containing chemical soup? You uh, can call it soup. I wouldn't, but okay. fine. That, that, most of the textbooks call it a soup. Okay. Do you believe this soup somehow came alive? Eventually, well, the soup over millions of years. Organic mm -hmm. molecules organize themselves into ordered systems, which eventually okay. we can so describe as life. The living, yes. the, the living things came out of this organic, these molecule, organic living molecules, organic molecule, came from this soup, from the rocks that got rained on. Dave, you believe you came from a rock. You just admitted it. Don't even know it. No, don't I don't. I, I believe that organic, organic molecules produce life, but you know who does believe that humans came from rocks? You do. You believe that oh. God created Adam from dust. So you're describing you your ridiculous Bingo. belief. Now, Not let, me try, let me try to explain. I'll try to explain it simply. This coffee cup is made of 100% natural materials, okay? Ceramics from the ground and stuff like that. For a man to take the materials from the ground and produce a coffee cup is understandable. For an intelligent God to take the dust and make a human, that's logical. For the dust to make itself into a human, that's not logical, Dave. 